The volcanic emergency continues on the Big Island, and the scary part is not knowing where the next fissure will open up. There are now 12 fissures or large cracks in or just outside of Leilani Estates. And through some of these fissures, we've seen lava spewing up into the air, sometimes hundreds of feet high. And new tonight, county officials say the lava isn't coming out of the fissures right now, but it's not over yet. We've seen this happen before where the lava activity goes quiet, only to start up again later. And the dangerous toxic fumes, sulfur dioxide, that's still a huge concern. Again, officials stress this emergency is not over. Many homes are still in danger. So far, 26 have been destroyed, consumed by the lava. Tonight, officials met with the community once again. Bridget Namata was at that meeting and has more. A cafeteria full of residents watched as Hawaii County Mayor Harry Kim offered one plea. For those living in the vicinity of the lava flow who still have not left, please evacuate. Every decision we make is to keep you safe and go through this very bad time as best as possible. We commit that to you. Officials, including Governor David Ige, warned the community to stay on their toes. Be prepared to evacuate at a moment's notice. We don't believe this is the end of it. You know, geologists continue to say that uh, the rift zone is uh, still inflated. Um, so we continue to be vigilant and be prepared. Civil Defense warned residents the lava flow is emitting dangerous sulfur dioxide and it's currently monitoring the air quality. There are reports of looting in Leilani Estates as lava continues to destroy homes, something the county warned will not be tolerated. The county also issued passes for those who live at Leilani Estates so they can go back to their homes and retrieve belongings, a process many say would have been helpful on the day Kilauea first erupted. It, it was very terrible the last couple of days. Folks waited for hours to get in and uh, it was, um, you know, tempers were flaring. Andy Andrews describes these last few days as stressful and uncertain. Though Andy hasn't lost his home, it's a possibility he is mentally preparing for. It's a really terrible feeling now because some of us have lost our homes and some of us haven't. And so depending where you stand on that side of that divide, it's a completely different relationship with this as either something that might happen or something that did happen. It's a, uh, I, I gave a guy a ride in yesterday and we were hoping to get to his home for him to get things out. And as we arrived, his home was in flames and it was just, it was just gut wrenching. Though he tells me there is one good thing that has come from this. There's some wonderful community energy that's coming together around this. It's a shame it takes a tragedy for it to happen. But, you know, you live long enough and you find out that hardship brings people together. And so there's been some really, some incredible generosity and kindness around it too. But Reporting from Hawaii Island, Bridget Namata, KHON2 News.